guys this is d5 cody coming back at you with another video so um earn hub you know the hack happened and i'm fairly confident to say that i believe the team didn't rug pull i firmly believe based off of how active and assertive the team has been i firmly believe they didn't rug pull because honestly, if you rug pull, you delete everything off of social media and you go and disappear. Um, the events that happen are tragic, in my opinion. And we can be we can be pissed off about it. Like it sucks. And I get it. But being sour isn't gonna change what happened. And I know not everybody in this that's watching this is gonna agree with me, and that's fine. Perfectly fine. I had to, over the last day or two, my mental health was deteriorating and I just had to, you know, I had to let things go. So, I locked a lot of my money up in EarnHub. I, I believed in EarnHub and I, I put a lot of money in EarnHub. And I lost a lot of money, just like all of y'all. And it sucks. Um, that's my fault. You know, I didn't diversify. And the message should be here is, this is why we diversify, guys. Like, if you believe in a token, that's fine. Being loyal to a token is fine. But at the end of the day, you one, you need to diversify. Two, if you make any significant profit, pull some of that profit out. And then let the rest of the money just kind of... Sit there. If the, you believe in the team, the money's going to be fine and it's going to earn you. Doesn't mean you can't add more later. But you got to diversify. And that's just my opinion. That's smart investing. Um, so where where do we go from here? Like I said, guys, you're not going to agree with me on everything here. There, there's two sides right now. There's the side that's pro the team. And there's the side that thinks that this was a rug pull. I don't think it was a rug pull, so I'm going to read this off of like a neutral standpoint. I'm going to read the news from EarnHub, and you guys can draw your conclusions from there. Rover has never let me down, in my opinion. I've been bullish on Rover since day one, and the fact that the minute this happened, he came into the community to calm our nerves, somebody to be there meant a lot personally to me you know and i know i've had the, my differences with half the community and i'm hoping to patch that up one day i do but rover coming in was a breath of fresh air you can almost sense in the community just like some peace to us because we know he's back. We know what he's capable of doing, and we know what he's done for us before. Of course, his health comes, you know, we're worried about his health, but there's contingency plans, you know, down the road. When he, ha he, when he has, if he has, you know, any medical appointments or whatever. Fact is, is he's here now. So, let's, let's get into it. I am writing a full frequently, frequently asked questions with information so that... Everyone is in one place. Everything is in one place. Hopefully this will help anyone who has unanswered questions. We will post it on our Medium account when ready. Alright. So let's just click into the voice chat summary. Sorry guys, my voice is starting to go out. So today's voice chat summary. Post hack. The plan to move forward from the hack was voted as followed. Poll questions. How should the EarnHub team move forward? A. Launch a new token. Any flect would only have the reflection system, no staking pool, or complexity. We will also uh, partially airdrop HB holders with any tokens. 448, 484 people, 53%. The new token is called any flect. Any launch details. Therefore, we plan to launch any flect taker any in seven days, uh, February 16, 2022, 
with the following details. Rover will be the CEO. Fair launch. So let's just go back. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, Rover will be the CEO. That's huge. So Rover wasn't the CEO with the last token. And, you know, I loved Astro. He gave a, me a good opportunity. But Rover is what got me into Safern. So to see that he will be CEO makes me bullish on this token. There will be a fair launch. There will be no pre-sale. A simple AnyFlex system reflecting in any token with the fast distribution to propel our marketing efforts. A new dApp will be ready Friday. So there's going to be a completely new dApp. There's an audit already submitted today. Result of the ready a re audit will be ready before launch. So this should com like calm some nerves from people. Like there's an audit that's going to be done. Like. And, and the contract's going to be so simple because it's just AnyFlex starting out. We already had AnyFlex. We know it works. Airdrop to EHB holders. Script is being prepared for a snapshot of EHB holders before the exploit. Airdrops will take uh, place the day after launch. The amount sent will be proportional to all snapshot holdings. Staked or vested tokens pre-hack on the LP. So... That we don't know the amount we're going to get yet. And it sucks, but I'm sure whatever it is will benefit from it. Um, like it says, we'll get them the day after launch. And I believe this is to protect, you know, people from dumping right away. Liquidity. 250k initial LP. The rest of the funds for the buyback and marketing. Tokenomics, 8%. Buy, uh, 13%. 13% sell, 90% uh, of all tax will go to holders. This is huge. That's a lot of money to the holders. Marketing Rover will be forming a marketing committee comprised of able and willing community members. It will be led by community-based marketing, network, and shilling campaigns. Contests will be held on Fridays for all to get additional tokens by choosing their Inflect early. Roadmap. Make AnyFlect a con currency that can be exchanged for marketing-based services where the funds raises profit and share amongst holders. So, I don't know exactly what that means, but marketing-based, so essentially will be a currency. So, will we have a platform, I wonder, where we can, you know, have people advertise their marketing and then we can exchange AnyFlect as the currency for that marketing? I don't know. Learn Hub IDO calendar pla uh, platform. Users can submit NFT or token launches from any blockchain. Uh, advertising features, listing podcasts, and more are paid for in any marketing and advertising for boost for boosted listings on any Flex D app for private KYC service. So yeah, so these looks like all the, the services, you know, it's essentially they're looking to make any Flex a currency. So that's pretty cool to for all these services. I'm um, a portion of portion of shared among holders, future roadmap, web3, calendar self-service or wallet deposits and withdrawal self-service pre-sale platform. Crypto job board. Oh my god, that's crypto job board. I know I'm gonna be on there, you know. I uh I'm no longer um Bastard Learn Hub. I'm you know I'm I'm working with some other with another project, but um who knows, you know? IDEO press release platform for distribution through RSS. So yeah. This is so it's not just going to be any flag. There's going to be a there's a vision there, and Rover's leading that vision. And anything Rover's behind, uh, frankly, I'm behind. Um, I believe in Rover. I've always been bullish on Rover. Like he's never let me down. And the circumstances around around him leaving Earnhub were unfortunate. Like I don't know. And I'm sure the team would have liked it to have gone probably differently. But needless to say, he's back now. Um. So yeah, guys, this is just what's happening. I want to keep you in the loop. Uh, 
you know, I'm not, all my videos aren't going to be about EarnHub. I'm going to start diversifying based off of what I hold, but I am going to try to keep you updated on EarnHub going forward. And uh, from there, we'll move. Um, you know, like I said, I'm hoping to patch things up with the community that I lost at some point. Like, I believe emotions were high, and I was going to do a video on a public apology, but, you know, I don't really want to draw any more attention i want to start bringing positivity back to my channels and twitter um there's things that i've said you know on twitter and on youtube you know maybe that i could have worded better and i i did have good intentions but those intentions aren't always you know viewed as such so yeah so anyways guys i'm you know i'm essentially I want to jump on the Unite DeFi train. I want to bring all these cryptos together. We all serve a, we're all in the same ecosystem. Let's coexist and let's uh, make some money. And anyways, guys, uh, my show your AnyFlex space will be back on Twitter Tuesday, seven thirty EST. Thursday, eight thirty EST. Which actually that might be that might be changing to seven thirty two. But anyways, guys. Thanks for watching.